So in today's video, I'm going to be busting your guys' Greenville update myths. This update added quite a lot of new vehicles and whatnot, so I'm pretty excited to see what we have in stock here today. If you guys really enjoyed the last myth busting video that I made, so make sure to support this one by leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already, as we are on the road to 18.8k subscribers, so it would be greatly appreciated. And also for those guys who want to join my Discord server, that is in the description below. For those guys who want to stay updated with all my future content and all our Greenville's update information. But anyways, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so starting off strong here with the new Corvette. Apparently, if you go inside it, the new Corvette actually has interior lights and should change when you press G. So if we actually open up the interior right here and start up the vehicle, obviously, as you guys can see right now, there is currently no interior lighting, but if we press G on the keyboard, you guys can see it actually does light up. And as you keep pressing G, it lights up in different colors. This is a very, very cool Easter egg, I can't lie. Greenville has added features like this as well in recent updates. Seems to be quite a common thing with the new fictional vehicles, but a lot of people still don't know about them. I kind of wish these features were like more obvious in the sense that like if there was like a GUI on your screen or something that you could like click to add activated as a lot of people i know for a fact will not know about this one but yeah for those guys who don't know this is actually real and let's move on to the next one next up on the new lamborghini gallardo apparently something happens if you press g on your keyboard so if we get inside of it here and start it up and start driving and stuff let's press g and i don't think anything's happening let me turn on my sound real quick and see if i'm missing out on anything all right well that one is obviously false honestly i'm not too surprised this car it doesn't really have like any secrets i'm guessing at least now coming back to the corvette this time on the heen trim though apparently the new heen variant of the fictional corvette has modifications inside the interior with the gauge cluster and screen been specifically branded with the heen branding so we can obviously already see this with the logo on the rear end and the front of the vehicle alongside the detailing on the seats but apparently we can also see the same featuring on the gauge clusters so we actually have to turn on the vehicle to see this and yeah it is actually true as you guys can see on the gauge cluster it's 18 and also on the screen apparently uh it actually yeah it's 18 that's actually very nice detailing can't lie i'm actually very impressed with that some cool detail right there definitely love the new interiors that they've been adding with these fictional vehicles it's so much more detail than what we used to have very nice stuff the next one will be quite an unfortunate one if it is true but apparently the 2023 andre buddy has now been taken off sale so if we go into the dealership here and just search up what this car is called so the 2023 andre buddy uh, yeah, nothing actually comes up, unfortunately. And also, the brand looks to have been completely removed from the dealership as well. Very sad one here. However, I'm not aware of, like, any, like, DMCAs or anything that have been sent to Greenville as of recent, so I'm guessing this was just removed by the devs as a precaution. So, I heavily doubt this means that any other brands will be getting removed, at least for now. But still a sad one regardless. Thankfully, though, it wasn't a vehicle that a lot of people used anyway, so it's not necessarily the end of the world, but... All right, now, the next one here isn't really related to the update per se, but I kind of just want to check it out for myself. So, apparently, if you press the insert button, on your keyboard the button next to backspace it will enable mouse control meaning you can control your car with your mouse so currently i'm controlling it with my keyboard but if we press insert as you guys can see i am literally controlling it with my mouse i am not touching my keyboard at all right now obviously i will actually have to uh press my keyboard to apply throttle which actually i can't do either i've literally lost all keyboard control i'm assuming maybe lift click oh yeah lift click actually seems to be uh acceleration this is quite interesting and yeah right click seems to be brakes this is actually quite cool i can't lie this could actually be like good for like more precise driving i mean i feel like for a lot of people driving on keyboard would would definitely be easier but i can't even lie in saying that driving with a mouse does actually feel a little bit smoother in some cases as you know the movements aren't like as janky they're a lot more predictable kind of thing i feel like this is honestly like the closest feeling you would get to using a steering wheel in greenville without actually having one definitely a cool feature though i'd actually recommend this to some of you guys i will say though it will definitely take quite a lot of adjusting to uh, get used to driving like this but regardless definitely a cool one that i feel like a lot of people don't actually know about coming back to the dealership here we're actually going to check out the new western motors leviathan as apparently it has a color called Ding so if we actually go into the dealership here and check out the new uh leviathan all right let's go through all the colors here so we have this color we have that and i will say these colors actually have quite interesting names as well already definitely a pretty cool stuff but yeah this is actually true there is a color called dingus right here with a full stop at the end or a period whatever you want to call it and apparently this is actually in reference to a youtuber which is pretty cool it's actually a pretty nice color as well i can't even lie i mean obviously it uh is quite the obnoxious color but it actually kind of like it looks cool i can't lie so very interesting one there that one is 100 true all right, now the next one here has to do with the Hennessy Corvette once again. This thing just seems to be packed with tons of different secrets and myths. But apparently, if you actually press G, it will activate police sirens. So for this one, I'm guessing we'll have to uh, turn on the... <laughs> 
so for this one I'm guessing we're going to have to turn on the volume right here, so let's actually get into the vehicle once again and press G, and as you guys can see nothing happens, which does mean that this myth is false, honestly kind of expected that would be a bit weird for this thing to make police siren sounds, but I mean hey on that note I wouldn't really mind a uh, police variant of the Corvette, and the last one here is actually a very interesting one if it is real, and essentially what it says is on the newer cars released in this update depending on the vehicle there is a overrun effect, throttle close, less volume, so I'm assuming what they mean is that when you're accelerating the volume is louder and when you let go of the accelerator the volume lowers down, which kind kind of already existed, but apparently the volume actually does decrease this time, so I'm gonna try it here on the Hennessy Corvette. So let's just hold down the accelerator right here, just like super loud, and go of it. And I feel like it is slightly quieter maybe, but it's not really anything like noticeable in my personal opinion. Maybe let's try it here on the new Gallardo and see if that works. I honestly could be missing something here. Personally, I didn't notice it myself, but if you guys did, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, you guys can try it yourself and see. But for now, I'm going to leave this one as undecided because I honestly could just be doing something wrong. Or otherwise, this is just like completely false. I have no clue. Now, lastly, before I completely end off this video, I do actually want to showcase a cool little car that was added in the update sort of secretly. So if I actually change my job here to energy worker right down here and select that job, and you guys will see that nothing really seems different at first. But when I go into my car inventory, there is actually a new job vehicle called the 2006 Bitsy Classic Trophy Truck, which we did actually get in the April Fool's update, and also we've gotten similar vehicles in the past Easter updates as well, but this one is actually obviously based around the Energy brand, and this was really only put in like the bottom of the changelog, so a lot of people don't even realize that it exists, but yeah, as you guys can see, it's a pretty funky looking car, it's got a Energy like energy drink can at the back, it's very like weird to be honest, but I mean hey, I kind of dig it, it pretty much just reminds me of the Easter egg cars that we used to get, but now with the Energy logo on it, I don't know if Greenville will ever put this thing on sale in the dealership, I kind of hope they do because even though yeah you can just drive it for free by changing your job to the energy worker for those people who don't always want to have that job equipped to be able to use this vehicle i think it would be cool to have it as a purchasable thing and i mean this thing is low-key kind of quick as well for free vehicles so for those of you guys who are just starting out with greenville and want like a actually decently fast car to start off with this is actually unironically a good option only issue is that you might look a little bit goofy driving around in this thing but i mean hey it is completely free so i'm not complaining i actually wonder if you can like paint this thing and like change the suspension on it i don't think you'll be able to because you don't technically own it, but I'm going to test that out anyways for the fun of it. Anyways, let's pull up to the Iran Rivers dealership and see what's going on here. Alright, so first of all, let's go try and change the paint color, which, oh, wait, are you serious? Wait, wait, wait. Alright, so this thing does actually have a factory color. So if we go over to premium here and then, like, change it to some random color and click buy paint, and it says, error, don't be silly, you can't change job vehicle paint. What the heck, man, that's actually not even cool. Alright, let's try the suspension this time. Once again, we can, uh, see the suspension stuff. Let's, oh, wait, you can actually change the rims on this? No way. Hold on, let's actually see. You can't change rims on a job vehicle. That's actually sad. The way how they literally like allow you to like preview these different rims on this thing but then you can't actually change it as a low-key sad in my opinion. It says you can't tune job vehicles but can I preview it? Nope I can't preview it. Let's try and buy it though just for the sake of it even though it probably won't let me but let's try buy it and yeah you can't tune it unfortunately. That is very sad I mean hey I kind of expected it but I mean the fact that you were even able to like visually make the rims look different was kind of cool. But yeah let me know what you can start this in the comments below pretty interesting thing I just thought I'd point it out for you guys. Anyway so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave like and subscribe as we are on the road to 18.8k subscribers so it would be greatly appreciated and for those guys who want to join my discord server that is in the description below to stay updated with all my future content and all our greenfalls update information but yeah anyways let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments below and if you guys want to see another one make sure to smash that like button but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one